Well, welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 203. Uh, today we're going to be, uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but uh, the theme is installing a 25-inch uh, wood tech dual drub, drum sander. And that's going to involve uh, rigging it into the building, and uh, uh, we're going to try to put wheels on it, and we're going to try to... Uh, uh, test it. So let's knock off the chit chat and get out there and see what we got. One thing we got for sure is uh, we're going to bring it in this door and we got a lot of stuff to move. Here's the uh, drum sander. I got it uh, on my trailer and once we get that door uh, freed up we'll drop the uh, tailgate and try to figure out how to drag it into the uh, building. Problem is it weighs a little over 400 pounds. Well, what I got here is I pulled the trailer straight in and now I'm going to lower this tailgate down. Then I'm going to try to pick up the sander with my cherry picker and pull the uh, trailer out from under it. Well, my plan of uh, lifting the thing up and then pulling the trailer out from under it sure isn't going to work, is it? I mean, the uh, cherry picker legs are blocking the wheels. So plan B is I'm going to try to lift it up and lift it over the edge there. Uh, this is a pretty, uh, pretty shaky plan, but it's the only plan I got. So let's give it a try. Now let's try to set it down on the floor without wrecking it. Well, I'm going to, we're going to build a base for it, but I'm kind of curious to see if it's going to work. And I'd also like to uh, weight test our little dolly here. Problem is, I can't get that dolly in there very far. We're going to build a base for this thing, and these are the wheels, wheels we're going to use. <clears throat> These are real high quality, uh, you know, like they're rated for like a ton of piece. Uh, this thing runs on uh, 220 single phase. The only uh, 220 I have in the shop I run my AC off of. So, until I make other provisions, I'm going to have to... I looked, uh, I looked online for the uh, operator's manual for this. Um, and I couldn't find it. So I don't know how, to, how it operates. Let's start pushing buttons. So when I turn this on, 
now when I this uh, belt here is supposed to move when I turn this when I switch this thing here on and off but it isn't belt apparently is run by this uh, DC motor right here it's uh, 180 volts DC and the rectifier is up here in this little panel I gotta figure out uh, if it's something simple or not here's the wire the wires right here well I think we got lucky um, I was just looking and it just seemed like this belt was too tight so I loosened the belt and now it works I don't want to act like I know anything about this but uh, I do know that these do roll dual uh, drums here uh, there there's two drums in here so that you can put you know maybe 80 grit on one and 120 grit on the other but a lot of guys just just use one drum well she's all locked up can't uh, having trouble adjusting the height pretty dirty it's filled with sawdust and the worm gear here is is uh, dry needs to uh, be lubricated and I'll clean this uh, side up and then I'll turn around and do the other side and I'm glad I didn't force it because look at this gear here completely dry uh, when you turn you know when you turn this worm gear it trans transmits the energy over to the other side and this is this gear here is clogged with uh, sawdust and it's real dirty so I really need to take a round turn on that yep same deal over here yeah this guy uh, the bed was uh, rolling up and down real slow and then the uh, motor stopped running he thought he had a piece of junk and the thing sat for 10 years good what I'm doing is uh, hitting it with some PV blaster and not for lubrication just to free it up those side panels when I took them off appeared to have never been uh, taken off before so I suspect this thing has never been greased okay put that lighter oil on it let it soak in and I'll kind of clean it up here and now I got this uh, this it's basically uh, it's called marine lubricant it's just like uh, grease it's not just like grease it is grease but this is what you this is what you put on on your gears probably can't get the rust off but I can at least make it smooth before I crank it up I'm gonna put a bead of, of this grease right along that crack crack there hopefully it'll coat the pipe all the way up so here's a theory uh, when I crank that thing up that bead of grease around there should coat that uh, pipe all the way up now I know all the grease I put on there is going to be a sawdust trap so you don't have to tell me I already know it um, I'll clean up the excess grease after I get this thing freed up
Well, it appears to work. Our lowering mechanism works. Uh, adjusted this belt, and so it now turns. So now we can uh, start designing a base for it. Uh, we want it on wheels so we can push it around. Well, I'm putting together the stand that we're going to put our drum sander on. I'm going to be uh, putting this thing together with big bolts, of course, but uh, right here I'm just tacking it together so I can get all the dimensions right. Here's the uh, design I came up with for the uh, platform we're going to put the uh, sander on. You notice that I got the these blocks of wood on the sander's going to sit here, and then I raised these things up so I could keep the center of uh, mass low. All the weight is going to be resting on these five bolts on each end. And I think it's going to work because all the weight from the all 400 pounds uh, is transmitted down through the legs and the, the center part here uh, is not weight bearing. So uh, I don't think reinforcing the center here would do any good. I just got to make sure that the ends are uh, strong. Well, there's our 109.35.2 Wood Tech 220 volt 25 inch dual drum sander. Um, apparently somebody set it aside uh, you can see that it looks like it's brand new and it's really about 10 years old uh, somebody set it aside because they thought it was broke and turns out I'll just need a little bit of adjustment on the belt and some maintenance on the uh, lifting mechanism for the uh, table we uh, we built a new little stand for it rigged it out of the trailer and now we got us a uh, dual drum uh, drum sander for Memphis Monday 203. Well, that'll do it for uh, Memphis Monday 203. Uh, today we rigged in uh, our new uh, dual drum sander, Wood Tech uh, 109.35.2 is the uh, serial number on it. I always wanted one of these, but never bought one and if you uh, Google uh, drum sander uh, on eBay or wherever you want to go, you'll find out why. They're real proud of them. But I got a real good deal on this one because I think they thought it was broke. But it turns out the belt just needed adjustment and the lifting mechanism had never been maintained. And so we spotted those uh, problems and built us a nice little base. I think it's going to be a nice uh, shop improvement. This has been the year for shop improvement. As we close in on our uh, end of our fourth year, we've got many shop improvement programs this year. All right, so just uh, can't think of anything else. Uh, make sure you like and favorite and share and Facebook and tweet and comment and all the stuff you know on the internet. But most important, make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.